Hello everyone, I'm back with a new game called Sarah is Missing. This is a horror game so there might be jump scares and I advise maybe there is gonna be some graphic imagery. We have a kitty and a lady so let's start the game. Well, that's creepy. This phone. Oh, welcome back Sarah. This phone appears to be damaged and you don't appear to be Sarah. Have we met? Um, I am not Sarah. Would you kindly return this property back to Sarah Young? You know where she is? Based on your response, I assume she is not with you. I don't even know her. It seems that the last video she took implies that she is in danger. Would you like to watch it and help me verify? Oh, that gave me goosebumps. Um, sure. Oh god. It's gonna be one of those jump scares, isn't it? Oh god, I hear footsteps. Oh my god, okay. That's, that's freaking creepy. There is only the file left at this moment. The rest of the content seems to be deleted or intentionally damaged. How badly is the phone damaged? We need to know if we can get anything fixed or find out more about this. It appears that only 14.3% of this device is operational. She looks, Sarah looks like she needs help. Yes, it would appear to be so. I am this mobile's personal assistant, intelligent recognitive, you know, whatever, Iris. It is in my best interest to locate her and it would be in your good conscience to help me find her. Where do you want to help me find Sarah? Oh, why do you want me to, why do you want to, ugh. She's your owner. I want to make sure she is safe. It is my prime directive. Hang on, you want to? Or you sound human? It does sound human for an AI, so I'm gonna say, hang on, you want. Yes. I want. We are wasting precious time here. Will you help me find Sarah? Yes. I need to restore as much of the contents in this phone as I'm able to. Please press the back button, then tap and hold anywhere on the home screen to proceed. Back. Is there any... Anywhere on the home screen? I'm on the home screen, I'm... I'm Clicking it. Oh, tap and hold anywhere on the home screen. There you go. I believe I can recover some of the phone's data. Well, yes. I'm starting the restore process now. Remember, you can tap and hold at any part of the phone to ask me to help you with anything. But if it's something out of my capabilities, I will let you know with a beep. Messages. Okay, excellent. Messages. Mail restore. Perfect. Gallery restore. Perfect. Music restored. Okay. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Derek. Derek, Derek, Derek. Derek. Hey, you there? So I'm going to guess that I'm the... Um, the this one. Hi you there, what do you want? Nothing, I just, I'm a, I'm about to board, why should I care? Well, that's, that one's props, ain't you, you barely care. Did you just text me to tell me that? You're such an arsehole. Look, I didn't mean, I definitely didn't want to hurt you, I mean, I wish things were different. I don't want us to end, I guess. 
That's what I'm trying to say. I, I don't know. Oh, I'm trying to tell you that this, this was not how I planned things to be. Things ended when you left. You left. You and your planning. Enough plans. Your plan, plan and plan, but you never do anything. All you do is run and work and use your work as an excuse to avoid confronting the issue. I think you just described yourself. Why do you always do this? And you keep blaming my work for our problems. Stop blaming shit on me. And these girls, naked or not, they are not our problems. It's me and you. And wait, wait, wait. And these girls, naked or not? What? Is he a pimp or something? And you're the one that keeps avoiding this shit. Shifting problems here and there. How about, I don't feel like listening to your shit right now. Haven't you done enough? No, you need to listen. I'm trying to tell you. No, I don't want to listen. I'm tired of your lies and shit. Baby, listen. If you have nothing else to say, then stop texting me. I'm done with you. Done. I can't believe you decided to do this. Not like fucking celebrate it, but it's Valentine's Day. Who the fuck leaves their girlfriend to fly back to another country to photograph nude women on Valentine's fucking day? Jesus, and not even have the balls to tell me about it, you lying piece of shit. Not telling you something is not the same as lying. Oh my god, really? Cool story, bro. I told you, it's a last minute gig. It's a fashion shoot, babe. Let's get that straight. You want to play technicality with me now? Seriously? Go away, Derek. Just go away. You're good at that, at least. That's one damn thing you're good at. Just go. No thanks to you. I don't even fucking know how to get back on chalet. Oh, sorry. My mistake. It's my chalet. Now, I figured this out, okay? Bye, Derek. Have a nice fucking flight. Sarah, baby, I'm sorry. I'll make it up to you, you there? Hey, I'm boarding now. Take care. Sorry. Bye. Hey, how are you? Been a while. Hey, baby, talk to me, please. I miss you. What are you up to? Sarah, talk to me, please, baby. I'm not your baby. Stop texting me. I need to move on. Okay, got it. Bye, Sarah. Whoa, Derek is fucking... Whoa, just... He's a bit too much. Okay, shit. Okay, so when did that conversation end? That conversation ended on the 30th of April. That's when she last texted him. And then this was on... Oh, shit. The 28th of April. What are you up to this weekend? Swamped with work, actually. Why? I need a favour. You always need a favour. What's new? Hey, don't be mean. I really want to go to this gathering. You mean a party? <laughs> yeah. I'm not really up for it. But it's sort of your thing, too. What do you mean? It's Walpushinant. Isn't that the witches' Fest? How is that my thing? You're the pagan. Hey, I follow you to church, alright? What's the big deal? Anyway, you're like into all those supernatural stuff anyway. Yeah, but I don't party with ghosts. I'm not going to fall for one of your coven initiations again, Faith. Ha oh, that was a joke. Come on. Plus, these aren't real witches. I bet I'm the only one around here. Just some guys planning and playing coven. We all do it, you know. Halloween, hello. I don't know, Faith. Maybe not. Ask me again tomorrow or something. Okay, so that ended on um, the 28th of April. Okay, mum. Hi, mum. This is February. Just wanted to check in. Derek and I decided to end things. Things weren't working out. So, um, yeah. But I'm okay. I'm sorry to hear that, Sarah. But I've always known that Derek could never keep up with you. Best you ended things before it got too serious. What time is your flight back? I can have my dip driver pick you up from the airport. Right, well, Mum, actually, don't panic. I've decided to stay. Sarah, I don't understand. You've just come out of a relationship and you're in a foreign land. Why would you want to stay? I need some time for myself, Mum. Being at home now, just... I can't. What do you mean you can't? You've got on the plane and come home. Mum? No, I can't. I've cancelled the flight ticket, so when... Anyway. Why in the world would you do something so stupid like that, Sarah? Mum, listen. Sarah, you come home this instant. I'll get my assistant to buy you a new ticket right away. Mum, I'm not coming home and that's final. At least not yet. I don't expect you to understand, but see you when I get back, okay? 
Hi, Mum. Just to let you know, I've touched down. Walking to immigration now. I thought you were supposed to arrive an hour ago. Got delayed. Sorry, couldn't send you a text. I've got to go into a meeting now. The driver is waiting for you. Okay, see you soon. We'll back late. We'll talk to you when I come home. Okay. Sarah, I've scheduled for you to meet with the executive creative director of Lloyd Ivory. Iving. The advertising agency at noon tomorrow. Don't embarrass me. Mum, I have a semester to go, seminar to go to, and we've already talked about this. I'm not changing my major, and I'm certainly not going to be a copywriter thing person. I don't want to do that job. Mum, really, tomorrow's seminar is pretty important for my grades. I can't skip it even if I wanted to. You're really going to pick your silly research on ghosts and all, all things over possibly working for a top agency? I simply don't understand your fixation on ghosts, Sarah. I've let it go on for too long. I only want to help you build a promising career, not throw it away just to be a ghost hunter. Mum, first of all, stop calling it ghost research or ghost anything. It's parapsychology. And secondly, I don't want to be a cop copywriter like you. It's just not what I want. And I hope you can understand that. Dad would understand. You know, the only reason why you can can go on and do your nonsense is because I allow it. I'm trying to make sure you have a good future, or at the very least, a good paying job, or a job that pays anything. How are you going to pay the bills of this kind of career path? The only research you can do is living under the roof and paying all of your expenses. You've lived a pretty comfortable life and a sport one of that. I've given you nothing but the best. And all I've asked from you is that you go for this one meeting and you shoot it down without even thinking about it. How ungrateful of you. And your father, he was a good man, rest his soul, but useless at living. He was a bum. I won't stand for it if you become like him. Okay, Mum. Going in for a meeting. I'll be home early today. You'll have dinner at home. We will talk about this further. Okay. Okay, so, so far we know Sarah is um, doing a lot of research on ghosts. And that's mm. kind of a career. Or she doesn't mm. want to call it ghosts. Aya. So this is uh, the 27th of April. Mm. Wait, wait, wait. I need to look mm. at this. Ooh. Wait, that's March. April. Okay. Hiya. Hi, how you been? Whoa, there's loads of shit here. Hey, Bootylicious, you okay? Feeling like in the dumps? Come join me and some ABS at the club. Sorry, babe. Got assignment. Can't do it. Skip it, babes. They have abs like, like, abs like Tarzan. Sorry, you know I want to miss, you know I won't miss hanging out with you guys, you know, but some other time. It's ladies' night, and besides, we've got ice cream. You need a break. Come on, Mama. You know how them ice cream melts down your abs. Tempting, but I'm going to pass. Besides, I haven't gone clubbing in years. I don't really like ice cream, but mm, chocolate lava brownies does sound so good. Celebrating freedom. You need a night out with me to forget all your troubles. I won't force you, though I have one on your behalf. Thanks. I'll catch up with you some other time. And don't overdo it. Watch your calories. <laughs> Bye, bitch. You know they love my love handles. Them puppies wild, mama. Hey, where have you been? Why didn't you reply? I texted you last night. I hear you went out with Faith last night. Bitch. Why didn't you call me? I'm always the last to... Oh, what the fuck? Let's go get coffee. I've got some news. I met someone last night at the club. Man, those dimples. Sarah, you there? I tried to call you, but I, I can't get through. Call me, Kay. Hey, Sarah. I'm worried. You've been... MIA. You're not normally like this. Okay, so the last person we went out with was Faith, which wanted to take us to some covenness. This guy's just called Buzzy. Buddy, not Buzzy. So, how was your uh, trip? It was terrible. Oh, why was it terrible? Derek broke up with me. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. By the way, free this week? No, I'm pretty busy. Got my finals to deliver. What's it about? Do you really want to know, buddy? Yeah, sure. I'm doing research on relativity of ghosts to culture. And how it transcends from verbal tales handed down through the generations to a digital and cyberspace hauntings. By the way, are you into butt stuff? 
I gotta go, buddy. And no, even if I am, you're not it. No prob. Poke you later, winky face. Nice weather today. Could be better. Wind doesn't feel as nice as it was yesterday. Can I send you some pics? I don't think so, buddy. I bet you'll like them. No, I don't think so. It's of my uh, penis. Yes, I figured. It's big. I really don't care. Would you like to see it? No. Would you like to, you know, sit on it? Uh, no. Can I see you? Not at the moment. Can I see yours? I don't have a penis, buddy. I mean, your tits. I bet you've got some nice tits. I do, actually. Can I see them? No. Nope. Bend over for me. No, thanks. Sorry, I'm just bored. I know, buddy. Go watch porn. Internet here is slow. Not my problem. Well, have fun then. Thanks, buddy. I don't know why I'm friends with you, really. Lucky me. Ha ha ha. Hey, do you like tapes and CDs? Yeah, been a while since I had one, though. Good, because I'm going to take my penis on your head and you can see these nuts. <laughs> okay, buddy. That was actually funny. I really wasn't joking. And I'm out. So we have Creepy Buddy. We have Derek the ex. We have Aya, which is kind of a best friend. We have Mum. We have Faith. Now we're going to move up to the next three people. Jill, James, and Unigroup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the uh, Let's Play here. If you want to check out the next episode and watch the the horror unfold then please do and if you enjoyed this episode leave a comment below and subscribe i'll see you again soon Bye bye